Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash over Team Win Recovery Project TWRP on the Oppo Find 7. I've got the X90, um, 9076 uh, as the EU version of the Oppo Find 7, but this also works on the Chinese and US version as well. Before I get into this, um, I would like to thank two members uh, of the community from XDA developer Scum Picule <laughs> for posting on uh, how to flash over the recovery and also um, 8 Monochrome on the Oppo forums for posting um, a solution um, to uh, a certain problem which is the titanium backup issue. Now the reason I actually did this and the reason I actually flashed this um, was because there was this tit titanium backup issue which in other words when you pressed uh, batch um, backup it wouldn't back up because it would say insufficient storage space or something like that um, in other words there was a certain problem uh, with titanium backup communi communicating with the phone and in order to solve this you have to flash super SU and the SU binaries uh, via recovery and in the only way to do that is to actually have a custom recovery and the custom recovery chosen was TWRP so now we got that out of the way. So right now, as you can see, I'm rooted and it does fully work. Um, so I'm only just redoing this simply because uh, I thought it'd be useful for you guys uh, and in case anyone else has this problem. So what you want to first do is connect up the phone as it's on like this and install the upper drivers. So if I connect up the phone on my PC, there'll be a pop-up that comes up with the Oppo drivers. So it's a setup file over here. And what you want to do is open up that setup file, follow the prompts, and then restart the PC, um, and then um, disconnect the um, phone, and then reconnect it. The reason why you want to do that is because then your Oppo drivers are going to be installed. Uh, and this is useful and um, required for the following steps. And of course, you want Windows to recognize your phone uh, when you're in fast boot mode. And I'll get to that in just a second. So before also continuing, what you're going to want to do is download two files. I'll link them down in the description on my dev host, but they're on XDA over here. It's Android SDK Slim .zip and TWRP X9077 image. Now the 9077 I know is not my model, uh, but it works anyway um, on um, on on my phone, which is the XO uh, uh, X9076. So right, once you've downloaded these, you're going to want to extract the uh, Android SDK one and it's going to give you a folder. Within the folder, you're going to have a, um, a folder, another folder called Platform Tools and then you're going to have all these uh, small little uh, files. With the image you um, downloaded, you're going to want to put that into the um, folder that you've got Platform Tools in order um, for you to flash um, your phone. Then you're going to want to hold shift on your keyboard, right click on your, um, uh, right click on the, um, uh, in a blank space and press a open command window here. And this will open CMD and this will allow us to do the various flashing uh, instructions that we're going to do in just a second. Now going back to the phone, we're going to want to put it on fast boot mode and in order to do this you want to switch off the phone wait for it to vibrate and then you're going to hold up the top button uh, of the volume key and the, the power button at the same time you just hold that until it vibrates and then you're going to be able to see very faintly fast boot dot 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 <laughs> so then you're going to connect up to the, this to the PC and you might see Windows installing drivers again that is absolutely normal that's fine but now what we can do is instruct CMD to flash um, the recovery file. So what you want to do is go and copy this, or you can type it up, whatever you prefer, fastboot devices. So right click, paste, and then press enter. And as you can see, it picks up our um, Oppo Find 7. It's finding the fastboot because it's on fastboot. It's saying the space and everything like that. It's finding the, the, the name of it then you want to instruct it. So what essentially you're going to do is um, put in this fastboot flash recovery twrp uh, x 9077image So as you can see this file over here is the one that we just 
put in over here. So it's fast boot flash. So it's giving, it's saying this device fast boot flash flash this um, flash whatever we're going to give you afterwards recovery. So that means flashing the recovery and then this file. So that's just an explanation of, of what you've just pasted in. Then press enter, and as you can see, it does its installation and it literally takes seconds. It's, well, 0 0.69 <laughs> seconds, so very, very, very fast. So once that's done, that means that you've now got recovery. So you can unplug your phone, and now you can go down on the volume key and press power. And this will boot us up straight into um, TWRP recovery. So I'm going to show you this. It vibrates and you just want to let go there. And as you can see now you've flashed TWRP and as you can see as well it's not to the full resolution uh, and this is because it's the um, uh, X9077 which I think is a 1080p screen and therefore that is the resolution of it. But now you can see you've got everything that you'd want um, to uh, that you can do via recovery so we can go to install and you can see by touch base you've got all these different files that you can flash so now what we're going to do is restart the phone and put on two files I've actually got them already here um, so I'm not going to need to reboot but what that's what you're going to have to do you're going to reboot the phone and put these two files on the internal SD card as you can see not in a, a any of the um, folders but the internal storage of the phone and these two files are called super user and update super su um, 2.01 um, now these files are provided by um, 8 monochrome so thanks to him and essentially he says to fix the titanium backup issue is that that's what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to uh, update su and, every, and all that good stuff so it's very simple as you can see, we've got the files on our internal SD card. You're going to hit that and then flash. And then go back and then hit the super user button and then confirm flash and then reboot system. So as you can see, color OS is upgrading. That's absolutely fine. Now we're going to go to super SU. You can see it's called super user. If you can open that and you can see it's already been allowed to flash uh, to to um, uh, give root permission, sorry, to Titanium backup. But as you can see, that's that done. If I go and do one of these, backup all user apps. Let's invert. Let's just do one, and you can see backup finished and successful. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this has been a useful guide for you guys. If you if it has been, make sure you give it a nice, healthy thumbs up, um, and uh, do subscribe for more videos uh, like this. All right, guys. I've been totally dubbed, and it's been the Oppo Find Seven on flashing uh, recovery and uh, enabling a titanium backup. Take care, guys. Totally dubbed out. Bye bye.